Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Uh, and in the last part we finished off Mordigan once and for all. He's been completely and utterly defeated and we had the credits to end the game. But, no. <laughs> that was where the original game, uh, the original Dragon Quest XI ended. But we're playing the Definitive Edition, which means we have another act to go. Uh, and basically this is the beginning of the third act. Where in uh, in the original ending, basically, we just heard about everybody meeting up and kind of celebrating their victory and then kind of moving on with their lives. Uh, here we get to see... <coughs> Sorry. Here we get to see everybody meeting back up together again. Uh, yeah, so here we get to see everybody meeting up back up again and kind of we get to hang out and have a bit of fun have a bit of fun before we move on to um the next part of the story we really saved the world yes so yeah that's pretty much what this scene is to start off with <coughs> my apologies it's the gang kind of all meeting up and kind of um you know having a good time and chilling out and stuff like that and uh, celebrating the fact that Mordigan is defeated once and for all. Goodness knows I do. But we mustn't. I can only imagine what Veronica would say. I think the voice actress for Serena here does a really good job here. You've saved the world, you idiots. What are you blubbering for? Yeah, <laughs> she does a really good job with the uh, impression of Veronica. <laughs> I actually also kind of really like this moment as well from Serena because it's a bit more kind of uh, more of a I don't know more of a fun loving kind of playful kind of side to her which is kind of nice um, that we get to see you know another side of her personality basically the kind of the you know now that now that the world is saved you know that she's a bit more um, happy and a bit more chilled out with everything. And so, yeah, we get to party with the Arboreans. I'm sure this will be loads of fun. <laughs> get to hang out a little bit. So, yeah, basically at this point, we do have... Uh, they do give you an area that you can... Oh, dear, what happened there? Sorry. <laughs> they do give you an area that you can go to at this point um where you know you look on the map and there's basically an area telling you yeah you've got to go here stupid um but uh before we do that we can actually kind of go around the world and kind of um have some cut scenes to kind of uh, uh show you know what the rest of the world is doing and how the rest of the uh, how the you know people related to the party members are doing I do like that that little moment there with uh, Hendrik where he's kind of getting hit on by all the ladies and he's kind of like please save me I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> so I kind of like that and of course Silvando kind of uh, laughing and dancing with the with the ladies being the life of the party of course uh, so yeah you can basically talk to every one of your party members they're all hanging around, kind of chilling. Destroy darkness that took you from me, and now it's done. Yeah, so. Try all the. I like that. I'm going to get <laughs> Eliodor back on its feet. Oh, and I'm going to try all the cakes in Gondolia. Yeah, you've got your um, priorities sorted out there, uh, Jade. Uh, but yeah. So I think we got one more person to find. Yeah, Serena. Serena's up here, so let's go chat. <coughs> Sorry, she's the last person we need to have a have a word with. The spirit lives on, and one day we will meet again. Yeah, I kind of like. I really like Serena's kind of attitude at this point, where she's kind of like. Yeah, I may have lost Veronica, but, you know, I need to kind of live the best possible life for her sake as well as her own kind of thing. So I kind of like that. 
So yeah, at this point then, you di uh, make your way out of Arborea, and they kind of catch up to you and say, Hey, where the fuck are you going? You're not, you're not leaving without us, are you? And your character is like, uh, of course not. Why would I leave without you? <laughs> yes, so there we go. So now they tell you basically, oh, there was a weird light sh uh, signing, uh, sorry, shining just south of Octagonia, so why don't we go there and check it out? Yeah, that's your main, that's the next story section that we need to go to. But before that, we can actually go, there's various pink spots that we can go to on the world map. <clears throat> the first one we're going to is Holobastion. The last bastion. Oh, the, fuck, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, <laughs> last bastion. <coughs> and here you can obviously see a bit of a scene between, you know, Jade seeing her father again. You have earned your rest. For now, you must enjoy some free time with your companions and leave the hard work to us. And leave the hard work. Well, King Connolly actually has a good point because <laughs> Jade has been a part of the, you know, obviously the main group, and so she's done a lot of shit <laughs> to um, free the world. So yeah, she can chill while King Connolly, who, you know, wasn't his fault, but <laughs> he was partially to blame for all this shit. So. Yeah, so that's Jade's kind of ultimate long term goal is to rebuild Helidor, you know, go back to her father and kind of help rebuild Helidor. <clears throat> uh, there's also a couple of optional things you can do here as well. Uh, you can talk to uh, Gemma, I remember her name. Uh, <laughs> No, she's not joking. That's what she wants. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was the original um, ending to a Dragon, the original Dragon Quest XI. Um, that, you know, you get married to Gemma and kind of spend the rest of your days in, uh, in um, Cobblestone. So yeah, you can also talk to your mom as well. And kind of tell her, hey, I'm heading off again. Because, you know, that's what I do these days. Right. So then we're going to head to the next port core, which is uh, Puerto Valle, where we're going to have uh, Silvando have a bit of a reunion with his dad and with the rest of the uh, rest of his gang that he left with him. I love this scene so fucking much. <laughs> it's so good. Trying so hard to do all these dance moves. <laughs> and to be honest, you know, for. He's not too bad. For. For an old soldier, he's not too bad, is he? <laughs> I love this scene so much. So over the top. <coughs> Sorry about that. Sylvander gets to see it. <laughs> I love the blinking. He's like, the fuck? <laughs> He's going on. Hey, Sil. Your dad said he needed to get his strength back, so we agreed to teach him a few moves. He's natural, don't you know? Took to it like a duck in water, he did. But then he is your puppy, I suppose. Yeah, I guess that does make sense, doesn't it? That <laughs> Sylvander's so good at it, so of course he'd get it from his uh, Don't go take from his dad. With us, mister. You were the one who was talking about wanting to surprise Sil with a little <laughs> show. <laughs> I love that they basically tell him off. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you should have heard him. Couldn't stop. Yeah, his dad starts being all sundary about it. <laughs> He's like, uh. You know, he's kind of getting annoyed that they're giving the game away that he's trying to, um... Uh, you know, that he's trying to learn to dance so he can put on a, a proper show for, um, Sylvando when he returns. It's kind of cool. When do I get to see the full routine? The 
full. Yeah, and now he's getting all serious about it. A knight's word is his bond, remember? I look at <laughs> And again, this is nice to see that Sylvando is now able to kind of tease his dad a little bit. <laughs> After he was so, like, terrified of him the first time that we kind of... First time they kind of met uh, in the game, after you know, after a long time. So, so yeah. I wonder if we'll get to see that. Probably not, but who knows? So yeah, he gets to hang out with it, and then we get to head over to. Um, the Viking hideout, and we're going to see uh, Eric's little sister. Yeah, I think you can talk to the um to the Vikings, but there's not really much of a point. Just uh, get to the main part of the story here. Just move on. Yeah, she's kind of hiding. She's kind of feeling a little bit, um... <laughs> she's feeling a little bit, uh, depressed after everything that's kind of happened. Why is that? Yeah, of course, she wouldn't know what happened, because she was kind of possessed by... The um by the by the artifact, and so she didn't really know what had basically happened, and that. so yeah, she's feeling all depressed that and guilty that she basically turned into a giant monster and tried to um, hurt Eric. So she's feeling negative, or, or she's feeling all guilty about it. I love this, he tries to lure her, lure, lures her out with gold. My god, she hasn't learnt anything, has she? That's the She's like, you know. fucking asshole. In the corner feeling sorry Yeah, <laughs> she's like, uh, she, what she was actually worried about <laughs> was Eric kind of giving up on her and not, you know, not, um, not liking her anymore. And now she goes all kind of sedentary about it again. Hey! Fun fact, a bit later on, uh, you know, the... Uh, one of the games that was released after Dragon Quest XI, there was a uh, a game um, with Eric and Mia, which was kind of a treasure hunting game where you kind of tame monsters and kind of explore places, explore islands and stuff to find like treasure and stuff, and to try and get as much money as possible. So I. I kind of think of this as like a little uh, foreshadowing to that. <laughs> that they were thinking about that all the way during this game. But anyway, talk to Mia. Then whatever you have to do, then don't keep me waiting too long. Yeah. All right. See you later, Mia. Uh, so yeah, next we're heading off to Dundrasil. We've got to go visit uh, mom and dad. <laughs> got to visit mom and dad's grave to make sure, <laughs> kind of tell them what's what's happened and how Mordigan is now defeated. So we've got to head off. Hi. Up we go. So yeah, uh, it's mainly Rob's thing that he wants to go back to Dundrasil to kind of. Um, Visit the grave of our mum and graves of our mum and dad. His uh, son-in-law and daughter. Just to say, hey, everything's fine now. Of 
popped back a few times since peace returned. Wow, he must he must have visited this place a lot of times. There's a whole bunch of these uh, bouquets here now. Bunch of these flowers here. Have some news for you both. Now that the Lord of Shadows is no more, I've decided it's high time. So yeah, this is where Rab kind of has the idea, basically. Yeah, that once everything, once we're done with everything and all the you know lord of shadow stuff is completely done he's going to get dundrasil back on its feet once again rebuild the kingdom and uh bring it back to life once more so much time has gone by yeah i think it does make sense that rab would want to do that though kind of see it as the final way of just like um putting everything that happened with the lord of darkness and and Erwin and all that kind of stuff just it's the way to just like um, completely cast it aside and be completely done with it so finally put it behind him and kind of move on I must be getting sentimental in my old age I don't think it's sentimental to uh, cry over your lost daughter to be fair <laughs> but there you go yeah. Got work to do though first, so let's finish off what we're doing and then he can come back and bring Dundrasil to life once more. I kinda like this little moment. Get a bit of a wind What's and the, up, let's the get sun comes down and the flowers get kind of blown. Petals get blown away. Almost as if they're, you know, giving ascension to uh, Rob's plan. It's a, a nice little moment. I was wondering here, you know, with the way they were panning back here, I was wondering if you, they were going to show, like, the spirits of Erd, Erwin and, um, and uh, Eleanor kind of just smiling, looking over at him. But maybe that would have been a bit too much. Anyway, that's going to be it for this part. Join me next time for the next part of Dragon Quest Eleven. Um, when we're going to finish off uh, going to the various places just to check that everything's okay. And then we continue on with the main plot. So yeah, see you next time.